In this lecture, we will discuss about lignin, pectins, and mucilages, which are found in different types of plants. So, first of all, we will discuss about lignin. Lignin is a highly branched polymer that are formed from aromatic phenolic alcohols, and these alcohols are known as monolignols. So, monolignols act as a raw material for the biosynthesis of lignin. Lignin is present in the cell walls of plants, especially the secondary wall of xylem trickery elements. Xylem is a special type of tissue which helps in the absorption of water. Lignin is the second most abundant polymer behind cellulose. Cellulose is the most abundant polymer, so lignin is the second most abundant polymer present. But its structure is not well understood. Although it is the second most abundant polymer, but its structure is not fully understood. Lignin is insoluble in water and most organic solvents. The important property of lignin is it forms cross-link with other polymer presents and increase its mechanical strength and rigidity of lignified woody stems. So lignin can form a cross-link with other polymer, for example, cellulose, and increase the mechanical strength and rigidity of lignified woody stems. Also, lignin play a role in defense as it is not readily digested by herbivores, so it decreases the digestibility of the link polymer also, for example, cellulose. As lignin cannot be digested readily, so it also decreases the digestibility of the cross-link molecule, for example, cellulose. So it uh, protects the plants from herbivores. Next one is lignin along with phenolic compounds accumulate at fungal penetration sites and slowing the cell wall degradation rate. So it uh, inhibits the entry of fungal uh, pathogen. So when a fungal pathogen try to enter a cell, the lignin along with the phenolic compounds uh, stop its penetration into the cell. So it protects the cells from injury. In figure five, you can see here the lignin cross-linking. This is a, a typical cell wall. This is middle lamella. This is primary wall. This is secondary wall. So we already uh, know that uh, lignin is present in the secondary wall. So this is lignin. And you can see here lignin form cross-link with cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. This is pectin. And it helps in the rigidity and mechanical strength of a lignified wood. The next important component is pectin. Pectin is a complex heterogeneous mixture of water soluble non-cellulosic polysaccharides and is found in cell walls and intercellular spaces of plants. So these are the complex heterogeneous mixture of water-soluble non-cellulosic polysaccharides. Pectin is rich in electronic acid. Electronic acid is an acid from of galactose. Galactose is a sugar. Pectin is present in the primary cell walls about 35% and in the middle lamella of the cell wall. So inside the cell wall, it is present in the primary walls and middle lamella of the cell wall. When the pectic substance is present in the middle lamella, degrades by enzymes known as polygalacturonase, it loosens the bonds between the cells and softening of fruits occurs. So the softening of fruits occurs due to the degradation of pectic substances present in the middle lamella by different types of enzymes. Commercially, pectin is produced mainly from citrus fruits and it is used as a gelling agent in the jam and jelly. So it is very important use. Also, pectin is used in desert filling as a thick mixture for filling in medicines in sweets as a stabilizer, in fruit juices, milk drinks, etc. So it is very important in food, medicine, and drink industries. So these are very important uses of pectin. 
you can see here figure six, pectin cross-linking with cellulose is given. We already know that pectin is present in the middle lamella and primary wall of cell wall. This is pectin molecule, this green color. So you can see here it cross-link with cellulose, also with hemicellulose. So this results in the mechanical strength of the cell wall. So this is the cross-linking of pectin with cellulose. The last one is the mucilage. Mucilage is a thick, gluey or slimy substance widely distributed in different plant spots, for example, leaves, roots, flower, fruits. So it is a gluey, slimy and thick substance present in different plants. Mucilage is abundant in the leaves of aloe, china rose flower, lady finger fruits. So these are some examples, important example in which mucilage is present. Chemically, mucilage is a complex carbohydrate with, with, which means that it contains different groups, for example, proteins and polysaccharides. So it is a complex carbohydrates. The sugar present in mucilage are arabinose, galactose, xylose, rhamnose, and ure uronic acids, etc. So these are the sugar and sugar acids present in the making of mucilage. Mucilage are the normal plant metabolism product formed in the cells. So it is a normal metabolic product, not due to injury and is present in cells. The important property of mucilage is it absorb water freely and retain it. So it is very important property that it can freely absorb water and retain that it absorbs water. Mucilage play a role in the storage of water, food, seed germination, and thickening of membrane. So these are very important function of mucilage. It can store water, food, it helps in seed germination and thickening of different types of membranes. You can see here in figure seven, this is the sundew plant. Sundew plant contains mucilage and this mucilage can be used to trap different type of fly which can be used as a food source by these plants. So you can see here, these are these drops are the mucilage. These are the sticky material and when a fly come uh, and attach to it, and stick with it and uh, um, send you trap that fly and use it as a food. So this is the example of mucilage. So it is all about uh, lignin, uh, pectin and mucilage. Thank you for joining.